After three months of testing, I determined that the Schlage and Code Plus is my new favorite smart lock. And if you're looking to get your hands on the Apple Home Key feature, this is your best bet. It has all the features a smart lock should have with just one minor downside, which we'll get into later. On the other hand, the Level Lock Plus is the most sleek smart lock I've ever tested, but its home key feature isn't quite as seamless as it should be, and there are a couple other red flags with this lock. So in this video, we'll first go over the similarities, and then we'll discuss the four main differences between these two locks. Apple HomeKey is the obvious similarity and probably the reason why you're comparing these two locks. HomeKey allows users to lock or unlock via NFC, by simply holding an Apple Watch or an iPhone close to the lock. For an additional layer of security, Face ID can be used with your iPhone, but I prefer to keep my lock in express mode, which unlocks the door instantly after it reads your device. But I still think Apple Watch users have it best because your Apple Watch is always unlocked. When you go to use HomeKey, it never requires authentication. Each Apple user in your household will get a pass automatically added to their Apple wallet. Overall, Apple HomeKey is an amazing feature and I think it fully lives up to the hype. I just see it as a more efficient and secure fingerprint reader because instead of letting some third-party lock manufacturer handle all the authentication, where their specialty might not be software, you can just let Apple handle all that. There are slight differences between these two locks and the usability of HomeKey, but we'll get to that in the next section. Aside from HomeKey, both locks come with a traditional keyhole and a traditional key, and the lock can be controlled from each respective app or inside the Apple Home app. For Apple users, the necessity for frequent interaction with the Level or Schlage app should be minimal after the setup, since their functions can be managed within the Apple Home app where you can create automations and scenes. Both locks utilize Bluetooth, but the Schlage lock has a Wi-Fi radio as well. Schlage's Wi-Fi support means that it can be controlled away from home, even without a hub. While the only way to control the Level lock away from home is inside the Apple Home app, and you have to have a HomeKit hub, like an Apple TV or a HomePod or an iPad. And both locks have a thread radio, and they will be compatible with the new Matter standard in a future software update. The only downside that both of these locks share is that there's no system to show you if your door is actually shut or not. Your lock can be displayed as fully locked and secure in the app, when in reality, your door could potentially be wide open. The August and Yellow locks have a magnetic thing that goes inside the door jam that will let you know if your door is fully shut or not. Door sensing just provides a little extra assurance while you're away from home. It's nice to have, but by no means a necessity. When I reviewed the Level Lock Plus a few months back, I said that HomeKey works about 90% of the time on the first attempt, but it almost always works on that second attempt. I kind of just assumed that the 10% failure rate was normal in just how HomeKey would work, but after testing the Schlage & Code Plus, I think otherwise. In my three months of testing with hundreds of attempted unlocks and locks and with a variety of different devices, the Schlage and Code only failed one single time. This means that it works more than 99% of the time on the first attempt. This impressively low failure rate may just be because Schlage put the NFC reader in a better position than Level did. Another possibility is that the incorporation of four AA batteries in contrast to Level's single small battery allows the Encode Plus to maintain a more responsive state and ready to authenticate HomeKit swiftly. Or maybe neither of these theories are correct and somebody else smarter than I am can help me out. Another interesting aspect is that it feels like your watch or phone can have a slight gap between the Encode lock and still be triggered, while the placement of your device with the level lock needs to be a little more precise and closer to the lock, almost touching. Regardless of the underlying cause, there's no doubt in my testing and my real life usage that the Encode Plus home key just works much better than the level lock. This doesn't mean the level lock is a bad home key lock or anything like that. It works fine and it's very capable, but there is a noticeable difference when side by side, and that was really surprising to me. Given the significant investment in either of these locks, it's almost guaranteed that HomeKey will be the primary unlocking method for all Apple users in your household. But what if you've got family members without Apple devices or nannies or dog walkers or just somebody else who needs access to your house? What do they do? The easy answer is to just give these guests a copy of your physical key and they can use the keyhole. But if you want a more modern method, both of these locks take a different approach. Level has an Android app and you can give guests or household members temporary or permanent access via the app. The app is fine for some situations, but making a guest download an app and sign up for an account really just does not seem like an ideal solution. The third workaround solution for family members outside the Apple ecosystem are key cards, which is definitely an upgrade over a traditional key. Simply type the name of the intended user, 
program the card for specific hours and the person can hold it near the lock and it'll function just like a home key device. The Encode Plus streamlines the process with an integrated keypad. The best part about their keypad is that it's the first smart lock that I've tested where codes for family members can be created inside the Apple Home app without touching the Schlage app. Another thing to note is that with some luck, you might never even need to touch the Schlage app at all, not even for the setup. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to set mine up just using the home app. One drawback to the code system is it lacks flexibility. It doesn't allow scheduled access like you might need for a dog walker. Users are either granted full access with a code or none at all. But this is a shortcoming of Apple and this feature could always be added in a future iOS update. To unlock the Encode Plus with the keypad, just hit the check mark button to activate the keypad, type in a four to eight digit code, and the door will unlock. Level does sell an optional keypad, but it's an additional $79. And I don't recommend it based on my previous testing with other Bluetooth keypads. If keypad integration with HomeKey is important to you, just get the Schlage. The Level Lock Plus has a brilliant battery solution because it's powered with a single CR2 battery, which just slides into the lock bolt. Surprisingly, even with boost mode enabled, after four months of use, my battery is still rated as healthy. Level says that the battery should last up to a year, but I'm expecting a bit less than that because of the boost mode. The single battery is what allows for the superior looking design. The best part about the smart lock is that it doesn't look like a smart lock. It has a clean look with a smooth metal finish and it comes in two colors. If you're looking for pure aesthetics, Level has a huge advantage in my book. While the level lock design looks awesome, there are two potential downsides worth mentioning. Initially, the lock's hollow body might be perceived as a structural weakness and potentially vulnerable to force entry. However, in reality, that's not a significant issue. The level lock has a grade one rating, which is the highest possible strength rating and suitable for commercial establishments. The more pressing issue with the level lock is the strength of its motor. It's by far the weakest motor that I've ever encountered in a smart lock, which probably won't be an issue for most, but it will become a problem for doors that aren't consistently well sealed and perfectly aligned. Level's motor doesn't muster enough force to securely close the door that isn't entirely sealed. But that's a challenge that the ENCODE can overcome with its stronger motor. Despite the difference in motor strength, both locks operate in an impressively quiet manner. They both fall within the mid 50s decibel range when locking and unlocking, which is very quiet compared to other smart locks on the market. The ENCODE Plus goes in a more traditional route with four AA batteries that are located under the black case inside the battery pack. Slag says these batteries should last about five months, but I'm getting much better results than that. In three months of use, the home app says my battery percentage is 78%. And as a side note, I love that you can see a real-time battery percentage with the Schlage lock in the home app, and the level lock doesn't do that. The four batteries in the Encode Plus definitely contribute to a more powerful motor, but that brings with it some downsides, and that's the design. The interior aspect of the Encode isn't really nice to look at. However, this is pretty typical for smart locks and comparable to the majority of the Yale locks. However, with the Yale locks, at least you get a sleek looking keypad from the outside. The Encode Plus is just kind of hideous from the front and the back. It's available in a Camelot design or a more angular Sentry design. But in the end, does the design matter? As a fan of things that look nice, I'm not thrilled about it, but the Encode Plus has a practical keypad that works really well, and that's probably all that will matter to most people. Final thing going for the Encode Plus is the longevity of the Schlage brand. They've been making locks for over 100 years, and they seem to know what they're doing. While Level seems like a cool company, they're just a tiny startup. The fourth difference is Auto Unlock, which is a feature that the Level Lock has, and it works really well, and the Schlage Lock doesn't have. Before HomeKey, Auto Unlock was my favorite feature in a smart lock. It's really tough to beat coming home with hands full of groceries and having your door automatically unlocked without having to touch it at all. But Auto Unlock has plenty of faults because it's not convenient for families with lots of members and there are some privacy concerns, which is why I prefer the convenience of Apple HomeKey and don't really consider the lack of Auto Unlock a downside to the Schlage. But if Auto Unlock is an important feature to you, I would probably go with the OG and get one of the August or the Yale locks. These locks are like half the price of the Level Lock Plus, plus you'll get a keypad and door sensing. Get the Schlage Encode Plus if you want the best Apple HomeKey lock currently on the market.
Not only does HomeKey work more efficiently, but it has a stronger motor and it has a keypad for non-Apple users. The only real downside to this lock is that it's not the prettiest to look at from the inside or the outside. But for practicality purposes, I really don't think you can beat this lock. Get the Level Lock Plus if you want a home key lock that's nice to look at and or one that just doesn't look like a smart lock. I really can't think of a good reason to get it other than the sleekness of the design, which might be enough for some small fraction of people, but it's not enough for me and I'll be keeping the Encode Plus at my house. The only other reason to buy the Level Lock would be if the Encode Plus is still out of stock and you can't find it and you're just desperate for home key. Despite the Encode Plus being out for a long time, it's still really hard to come by for some reason. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know if I missed something or you have other questions. I'll gladly answer them. Thanks for watching. I'm out.